Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 42. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking part in the GT3 Championship. Uh, so we are going to be taking this Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG GT3 from 2011. Uh, we've actually got a 72.5% performance limiter after putting on a Stage 3 engine upgrade and a turbocharger, the high-end turbocharger. Uh, and it is now producing 708 brake horsepower which brings us just one below the performance point limit for this. Um, the SLS is actually one of my favorite cars from Mercedes, so this is going to be really fun to drive. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting in Silverstone, then moving over to Spa, then moving to Monza. Next up will then be Nürburgring and then the Suzuka circuit. Each of these are five laps, except for Silverstone, which is only four for some reason, which is interesting. Um, and we are getting roughly 50,000 per race, so we'll make back pretty much most of what we spent on this car anyways. Um, I think it's time to enter. Let's go. Group GT3 Series race number one, Silverstone. Let's do this. Right, so we are here. We're looking at um, two... Three R8, four R8s. Um, we're looking at three SLSs. We've got an M3. Oh, let's get the menu back. Uh, we've got two M3s, uh, two, three, four GTRs, uh, and two Z4s as well, which is very cool. Uh, let's make sure that our traction control is down to two, I think. Let's go. Right, let's do this. First of the GT3 races, we're next to a R8 Le Mans car. And we're pulling away. And we've got broken engine noises. Couldn't ask for more from Polyphony. Though, to be fair, they have fixed it in uh, Gran Turismo Sport, so got to give them props for that. We didn't quite get a um, as good a start as that first race that we had on the Nürburgring. That was a perfect start. This is actually really good to be able to drive something a little bit different. It does understeer like crazy though. But remember this is Silverstone so we've got a uh, little shortcut trick that we did in the uh, historic racing cup. I can't remember which uh, episode that was but the historic race car championship. Uh, it was that one. The final race of that. Just go back and watch it. It was funny as hell. Right, we've overtaken a GTR and a BMW Z4, I think. Oh, look how wide that went. I still don't understand why this is only a four lap race. Oh! That was not great. Perfect. 
Right, coming up behind the M3 now. Squeezing past you. Onto the brakes. Perfect. Right, we have four more cars to overtake and two and a half laps to do it in. Oh, that was not great. We managed to get the overtake, but the Nissan just squeezed through. Hopefully we can take this as an opportunity to get that place back. Go, 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 go. And break. Nice. Second, and we're in third place now. Get back on the track. Perfect. Coming up behind the BMW now. We go much faster than expected through that section. Come on. Perfect. Right, we've just got the R8 to overtake. I don't know, as well, don't understand why this is only four laps when... Uh, Spa is like a three minute per lap race. Very nice. What's the interior like of this car? No! Do not black screen me today. <laughs> Do not black screen me today. It's done it again! <laughs> oh, that is crazy. Note to self, do not change camera angle. This game doesn't like it. Perfect. Very good. We need to try and pull away from the Italian behind us. Awesome. Right, coming on to the final lap of Silverstone. Perfect. Awesome. Right, slow down, slow down, slow down. The fact is, Silverstone has so many stands. Like, you've got stands over there, stands over there. Like, I've actually been and walked behind all these stands, right? And it is such a weird experience because there's just so many spaces. Like, the last time I went, there was actually even more stands than that. To the side. 
that was completely full up of stands. And actually the best stand to sit in is the one that was just over to the side over there. Because you get the inside section where the cars go really slow. But then you also see the cars going through this fast section. It's just the perfect stand. I do love Silverstone. It's a very nice track to be at. Here we go, coming across the finish line. Let's do this. Eight minutes and 24 seconds for that race. Very good. Ta-da. You gonna load for me? There we go. I was so, I always get worried when the screen goes black because I worry that the PlayStation's just like, yeah, nope, not today. But we got our three stars there. And it is time to move on to race number two, which is going to be around Spa. Yes, Spa. I got it right. Let's do this. Right, let's do this. We're at Spa now. Three, two, one, go. Why did it give us control of the car at like the weirdest opportunity ever? Let's do this. Spa. Just spa. It's time to go around spa. Perfect. Nice. So, uh, oh, I didn't move out of the way. He was big chungus for too long. Those front tires there under that braking condition. Oh, bit of contact through there. The GTR going off of the track for a little bit. We are in the SLS and we are going fast. Come on, out of the way. Nice. Come on, come on. That is perfect. Let's go past, squeeze past. No, we've bottled it. Right, let's get back on the track. Let's give lap number two a good try. Look, each one of these laps on Spa... Get out of my way. Each one of these laps on Spa is so much longer than Silverstone. And we are doing an extra one as well. Why couldn't Silverstone just be five? Nice. It's a very good job there. Oh. 
a little bit wide. Wide again there. This car doesn't like um, corners. It's a very heavy sort of car, surprisingly. Right, we have four more cars to overtake. Give him hell. Perfect. I'm looking forward to seeing what extra tracks they'll bring um, to GT7. I'd love to see all of the like real tracks from here, like Nurburgring, Silverstone, um, because obviously Gran Turismo 7 is going to be at least 100 gigabytes, easy. They have so much room that they can make. All of these tracks, they can get Spa, they can get Silverstone, could even, obviously Suzuka's going to be in there. Oh, there we go. But it would be nice to see some more real tracks. So, um, Circuit of the Americas would be a nice one to see. Um, I think as well, actually, I think Coke Diaz is already in this. Um, what else was there? Long Beach would be nice to see. I think Long Beach would be a very nice track to see in um, Gran Turismo. Because it adds a couple more city tracks. Because there's not many like city race tracks. They're all just like tracks that have been made up from cities. Um, I'm trying to think of some other tracks. Oh, um, the Malaysian track. I think it's Sipang, I think it's called. Um, that would be a great track to have. Because that's in grid as well. And it's a really fun track to drive on. Like, that would be so much fun. And we are now in first place, actually. Which is pretty sick. Um, but I'd love to see, um, like, Dragon Trail. Dragon Trail is a very good track. Uh, original track from Polyphony. So that would be nice to see that make a return. As well... In fact, I think all of the original tracks that they put in GT Sport should come back. Wow, some, some of them are pretty bad. Some of them shouldn't come back. But quite a few of them were very good. Um, I know the French Village one was really good. Um... The Italian one was nice as well. Watch. Ah. That was not great. Right, we've got to regain all those positions now. Come on, let's do this. Let's get past the Audi again for the third time, actually. Nearly crashing to the back of a Nissan then. Um, yeah, so it would be nice to see those tracks come back. And also, um, all of the original tracks in this like remastered made a little bit wider i think because um 
cars that are a bit too quick in these games, they need wider tracks. Um, Battlehorn needs to come back. Egan Norway needs to come back. Trial Mountain is coming back. Deep Valley Raceway needs to come back, but remastered. Um, yeah. There's loads of tracks. That's one thing that Polyphony is very good at, is uh, making custom tracks. Original tracks. Awesome. That corner is so much tighter than you would expect. And here we go, coming up to the final section of Spa now. We've got one more lap left to do. Let's go. Lap number five. Awesome. Right, slow down now. Very wide there. Very good, very good, very good. I can't believe though how long this series has been. Like Gran Turismo 6 I've actually been able to like properly complete. Except for the uh, GT shifter cards. That was too tricky. I didn't even bother attempting it after like the fifth attempt. I was just like yeah. I'm not even bothering recording this anymore. Still gone wide there. How? Right, let's slow down now. Perfect. And across the line. Five laps, first place. Five laps in 12 minutes and 15 seconds. That is a very good time, with a 10 second gap between me and the car behind. Awesome! Let's see how much money we got from that as well. Hopefully we got quite a bit. Let's see. 48,000. Nice! And 3 stars. Awesome. That is that done. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord, and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. 
Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. I will take you